gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Mia and her amazing dancing animals. Yay! Hooray, Mia! Woohoo! Today's story is called The Animal Ball by me, with help from the brilliant puppeteer, Eddie. Once upon a time, there was a magnificent animal ball. Sir Teddy and Princess Paw Paw began to dance the most beautiful dance. Lady Hop Belong joined in, dancing so daintily. <laughs> um, Lord Zebra asked Lady Hopalong for a dance, and she happily accepted. <laughs> Eddie, you ruined my puppet show. I was just making it funny. But I said it wasn't supposed to be funny. What if someone did that to you, Eddie? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mia. Let's try again. No, don't wanna. Do you wanna do something else? Eh. What about a carnival? It's got rides and music, but best of all, you can win prizes. Cuddly stuffed animal prizes. How cuddly? The cuddliest. Okay, let's go to a carnival. Yay! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song This is gonna be fun. <gasps> Monkey! Love it, love it, love it! <laughs> Can't quite! Ugh. Oh, rats! Hey, we'll try and win it for you. Yeah! Hold this for me, Mia. Here, Mia. Can you look after this? Leave this to me. Ready, Eddie, go! Double rats. May I? Sure, but nobody can ring that bell. Whoa, that is one powerful piece of pork. Hurrah! I would like the stuffed monkey, please and thank you. <sighs> Step right up! Step right up! Expedor beginner! Everyone's a winner! Hey, little girl! Give it a whirl! Just loop the hoop right on the stick, and then you get the prize to pick. What can I win? A cuddly monkey? I got a much better prize. You won't believe your eyes. This is a magic wand just for you. Is that a real magic wand? Real? It can make an elephant float, then turn into a goat. Can the wand make a cuddly monkey appear? A monkey? You bet. That's easy, no sweat. Well, okay, I'll try. You have to pay to play. And the price is five balloons today. Mm, okay. Oh. I win, I win, I win! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, what? yeah. <laughs> Yay! All right. Oh, sorry, kid. You tossed and you lost. Step right up, step right up! Huh? I hooped the loop just like you said. I won and I 
What the magic wand? Not fair, not fair! Hey, pipe down! You're scaring off my customers. Here's your wand, kid. Ooh, I can't wait to try it. Well, there's no guarantees, warranties, or refunds. In other words, no backsies. <laughs> Chickity doo, chickity dee. Turn into a donkey for me. <laughs> Flippity floppity, flowery flower. Turn into a great big tower. Okay, Wand, this is your last chance. I don't want a flower or even a donkey. I really want a big. Cuddly monkey. Or a little cuddly monkey. Ugh. That fox. This wand is a dud. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, Prince Piggington. I bet you would love to trade that monkey for something magical. Look, just for you. Is that a real magic wand? Sure. It made an elephant float? Hmm. Yes. Let's trade. Yes. I mean, good thinking, Prince. Moo! <laughs> <laughs> Meow. Roar! Hey, Mia. What you got there? Wow! Cool! Roar some! Did you win it? Kinda. I traded it with Prince Pinkington for a magic wand. You traded a real magic wand? Well, not exactly. It was kind of a fake. And Prince Pinkington still traded? I might have told him it was real. Mia, that's not really right. But the fox told me it was real when it wasn't. But remember what you told Eddie when he ruined your puppet show? How would you feel if someone did that to you? Oh. And how did you feel when the fox tricked you? Pretty bad. And what about Prince Piggington when he finds out you tricked him? Pretty bad, too. Guess I'm gonna have to give you back to the prince. I'll miss you. Hey, Mia. What happened to our balloons? Hmm. Um, Prince, I'm really sorry I talked you into trading your monkey for the wand. I accept your apology, but I do not understand why you are apologizing. The wand's a fake, a phony, a dud. I find it works quite well, actually. Wow. Did you see that? Magic! I shall return it to you. As that is the polite thing to do. Thank you, but it belongs to you now. That is very nice. Is there something I can do for you in return? Maybe balloons for my friends? Whoa! Wow. That's amazing. What? Give me my wand back! That's mine! No guarantees, warranties, or refunds. In other words, no backseats. Come back here, you! It's mine! Hey! Give it back! <laughs> I hope Mr. Fox learned his lesson. It's always better to be nice. That sounds like a song. Two, three, four! Do nice things for others. I should like them done for you. Make somebody smile. And you get a nice smile, too. Do nice things for others, and pretty soon you'll learn. Grateful friends will do for you some nice things in return. It's a two-way street when you try to get along. So think about how others feel, and you can't go wrong. Be nice, be nice, not just once or twice. Be warm and kind to the folks you find Keep your nice thoughts on your mind Be nice, be nice Not just once or twice Be warm and kind to the 
Adventure to the restaurant. But we both decided to go to the pirate ship. And then I decided to do something different. What is that? Oh, it's me. Why are you being so grumbly? It's not me being grumbly, it's my tummy. The dog stole my breakfast, and I'm starving. Hold on, I think I might have a... Here, half a grilled cheese sandwich. Still warm. My favorite, thanks. Well, we should definitely go to the restaurant now. You're hungry, right, Mia? I could eat. Okay, have it your way, Mr. Bossy Banana Pants. Great, hit it, Kobe. I mean, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Finally, it's way past our lunchtime, and we're all very hungry. The dog must have eaten their breakfast, too. Thank you very much. Um, you're welcome. We beg your royal pardon, King Pigalot. We didn't know you were waiting for us. So, what's on the menu? We were hoping you'd tell us. Well, that's great! We can make whatever we want! Come on, guys! Be right there! Splendid! Thank you. So, guys, what can we make the pigs for their lunch? I know! Pizza! Everyone loves pizza! Especially you, Eddie. But I love pizza, too! Me, too! Me, three! Okay. Me as well, I guess. It was my idea, so I should be the boss. How about everyone's the boss of something? Okay, but I'll be the boss of everyone who's being a boss. Mia, you can be the boss of greeting customers. Tessa, you be the boss of taking orders. Kobe, you be the boss of scrubbing the dishes. Um, gee, thanks. You're welcome. And what about me? Sophie, you can be, um, the boss of being my assistant chef. Your assistant? What does an assistant chef do? Well, whatever I tell you, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I am the boss. Hmm, I don't know about this. We want food! We want food! We want food! We want food! Okay, team, let's get to work. So what's first, boss? We're going to need flour for the pizza dough, and lots of it. How much dough do we need to make? All of it, for one giant pizza. Really, are you sure? Sophie, of course I'm sure. I'm the boss, remember? Okay, if you say so. Hmm. 
<laughs> Just wait till you have to wash all the dishes. <sighs> Hi, how are you today? I will be your server. We're hungry. Hey, what's to eat? What would you like today? May I take your order? Hey, where's the grub? Welcome. I'm ready. Where's my food? <laughs> I'm super hungry. Wow, that's one giant dough ball. It sure is. Good luck, boss. The good news is that they all love pizza. The bad news is they all want it now. Can't you stall them? Mia's trying. She's telling a fairy tale. But I'm not sure that three little pigs is the best idea. And so the big bad wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> Okay, well, I just need to throw it in the air and catch it. You know, like chefs do. But that dough is huge. Shouldn't we do it together? The boss wants to do it himself. That's right. I'm in charge. I don't need any help. But... <clears throat> oh, no! The dough ball! We have to get it back! But you said you could do it yourself, Eddie. Yeah, boss, you get it back. I'll never be able to catch that giant dough ball all by myself. I need your help. Okay, but on one condition. Right, we work together. Yeah, no bosses. Okay, you got it. Now let's get that dough ball. And then the big, scary wolf right to the roof of the little pig's house. <laughs> um, keep the stories coming, Mia. We'll be right back. Hurry, catch the dough ball! Quick, it's getting away! <laughs> we have to get it back! Oh no! Ew, yuck! That's one disgusting dough ball. It's ruined! What are we going to do now? You know, the pigs might actually like a money pizza. Hey, Sophie's right. It's covered with all their favorite gross things. But how will we get it back to the restaurant? Wait, I have an idea. Kobe, can you drive a tractor? Yeah. <laughs> I guess pigs aren't the only ones who like mud. Need a hand? And this little piggy went wee, wee, wee all the way home. Ooh! <laughs> wee! One giant and quite delicious mud-covered pizza with extra grass and straw. And other gross stuff. Oh, thank goodness. I was running out of pig stories. You made this, Chef Eddie? We made it together, your pickiness. All of us. Even me? Sort of. Well, I must say, that is a pizza fit for a pig. A pig king, that is. <laughs> and what, may I ask, is for dessert, Chef Eddie? Hmm, better ask the team. I'm not the boss anymore. <laughs> That's my tummy saying, I'm still hungry. <laughs> My tummy just said the same thing. Mine agrees. That makes four of us. Since we couldn't eat the pizza, I thought you guys would like some cookies. Cookies! Yeah! Yay! Yay! Mm. Good. Thank you, Eddie. 
Hey, don't look at me. It's Lucky. Here, Lucky. <laughs> down for a nap, and they need total quiet so they can sleep. <sighs> Aren't they the cutest, sweetest, snooziest? Okay, Mia, we'll keep it down. <sighs> Every time I make some noise, someone always tells me to be quiet. I mean, wouldn't it be great if there was some place where we could make as much noise as we wanted to? Yeah. Where no one ever complains if you're loud. Yeah! Shh! Or says, shh! Hmm. The land of the loud! That's where we need to go. Where's that? It's where we can be as loud as we want. Awesome! Land of the loud, here we come! Shh! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. Come along, a special kind of adventure. But first, we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Rats, you woke everyone up. Oops. Shh, don't worry. I'll sing you back to sleep when the noises are gone. Rock-a-bye babies on the back lawn. You'll go to sleep when the noises are gone. Wait up, guys. <laughs> Quiet for the land of the loud. Loud, 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 loud. Loud, 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 loud. Now that's more like it. Hey, let's really make some noise.
for a while, but even I'm glad it's over. Uh-oh. It's not over yet. What do we do now? I, I wish, wish Mia was here to sing a lullaby. Maybe they'd quiet down. Toby, you're a genius. I am? Well, sing a song about being quiet and get them all to join in. Sleep? What did I miss? You missed marching in a really loud parade. Who says I missed it? Wake up, fluffy heads. Now, quiet time is over. We can all be in a loud parade. Everybody follow me. And here we go again. There's a time for up and there's a time for down. There's a time to smile and there's a time to frown. There's a time for chores and there's a time for toys. But you gotta have some quiet before you make some noise. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Boom! <laughs> the delicate snowflake floats on the breeze. 
I am a delicate snowflake, floaty, floaty, tra-la-la. I do make the most perfect snowflake, don't I? Mm-hmm. Here comes the Ediosaurus. Run! Ribbit, ribbit. Shh, we're making a movie. I'm a frog. Ribbit? A movie? Want a dinosaur in it? But it's called the Snowflake and the Frosty Frog. <laughs> Sorry, Eddie. Everyone knows dinosaurs don't like it when it's cold out. Ribbit? It's not that cold. You're right. We should go someplace that's really snowy. Like in a snow globe. Let's go to Snowglobia. We can make a really great movie there. Come on, Sophie. Let's go! Me too! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song Wintry! The snow will look so pretty and sparkly in our movie. Yeah. Now, what are we going to film? What in the name of sneezing snowballs is going on? Look! Oh, a little snow monkey. How cute. I think the poor guy's stuck. Oh, Fooey, what are we going to do? Don't worry, Eddie is always ready to help. <laughs> now that's a movie. Double knot. There, all better. Ah, it was nothing, little guy. I think we should. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, uh, nothing. We just thought of something we want to do. That's all. Wait, where are you going? Oh, just going to do stuff. What kind of stuff? <laughs> secret stuff. What kind of secret stuff? You'll find out later. Come on, Sophie. Well, I've got stuff to do, too. Ah, ah, ah. Fun stuff with my new friend. Ah, ah. My new friend? Looks like their secret is that they want to have fun without me. Ah! Well, we'll have way more fun without them. Just you and me, Ak. Come on! Ah, 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 ah. So, my furry little friend, what kind of fun do you think? <laughs> hmm. Well, whatever fun we have needs to get us away from those silly giggles. I know! Let's build a snow fort! We can play in it together! On our own! Ack, are you okay? <laughs> They're being weird. Come on, Ack. We've got a snow fort to build. 
to be the best. <laughs> I'm coming, Ak! <laughs> Isn't this so much fun? I love doing the snow monkey dance. <laughs> uh, we can stop now. <laughs> Almost done, Ak. All we need to do now is build a snowman. <laughs> he can guard our snow fort and stop anyone else from getting in. <laughs> I'll make the body and you can make the head. <laughs> are definitely going to want to come in. But they're not invited. Eddie! Eddie! That didn't take long. Sorry, you can't come in because you're not invited. It's only for me and my real friends. Huh? We are your real friends. And we don't want to come in. We want you to come out. If you were my real friend, you wouldn't have gone off to play without me, and you wouldn't have told secrets, and you wouldn't have... Uh, what's going on? They're all here for you. For me? What? Why? Emma and I have been making a special project just for you. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. You were so brave. And so nice when you got Ack out of the tree, we decided to make you something special. Come on. So, we made a little movie to show everyone how helpful and great you are. You did? nice surprise for me and the whole time I was mad because I thought you were leaving me out of your fun. Oh, Eddie, we didn't realize. I'm the one who didn't realize. I shouldn't have jumped to confusions. Don't you mean conclusions? Exactly. I'm sorry. We still friends? Of course. <laughs> Look, other head, what on Earth planet is that thing? It is fuzzy. Maybe a fairy rock? Hmm. Rocks do, do not, not yawn. yawn. It, it must, must be, be a sleepy Earth, Earth monster. <laughs> <laughs> Two-headed alien robot from another planet? That is not a sleepy monster. It's only Lucky, our dog. Uh-oh, other head, we have miscomputed error. Error. It is just, we have never heard of such a thing. You've never heard of pets? Of course we have heard of pets, but on our planet, everyone knows that the best pets are... Pineapples. <laughs> Meet our pineapple pet, Spike. Sit, Spike. Stay. Good pineapple. Fetch, Spike. Go on. You can do it. Mm. 
our pet is sleepy, too. <laughs> for the best bedazzling is to take it nice and slowly. Ta-da! Emma amazing! Wow! Nice, Emma. So pretty. Um, well, I think it needs a little more. Mm. There! Look at all that. Mm. Now that's bedazzled. Oh, no, 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 Mia. That's besplattered. It's all about taking your time and putting things in just the right place. But I like slapping them down and spreading them around like this. Mia, and I'll do it the right way. You'll see. My side's gonna be so, so beautiful. Well, I get the gems. I get the glitter. I get the glue. It doesn't look like we are going to get a turn. But I wanted to make something sparkly. Wait, I have an idea. Let's all go to Snow Globia! Yeah, we can make something sparkly with all that sparkly snow. You guys want to come to Snow Globia? I'm staying here to finish my bedazzling. Well, if Emma is staying, then so am I. Okay, see you later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Snow Globia? Let's go! Yeah. Just as soon as the yard stops spinning around. <laughs> hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. What should we make? A speedboat! No, wait! A llama! Wait, wait, wait! A time machine! No, I was thinking more like... More like a sparkly ice palace! <laughs> Loretta? Loretta, you come back here! I'm not gonna tell you again! And you too, Bernard! And Eunice! You listen to Mama now! I can wait. <sighs> oh, dear. I am never going to get my igloo finished at this rate. Igloo? I was hoping to sleep in it tonight. It gets even colder when the sun goes down. Maybe we can help. We were going to make something in the snow anyhow. Hey! <laughs> Loretta, I'm warning you. Eddie and I can look after your babies. We can? We can. And we'll help you make the igloo. Oh, thank you. A mama's work is never done. Now, let me show you the plans. I've started building it just over here. It looks like we're going to have some fun. Bunny style. Where'd they go? Come back, bunnies! Hmm, let's 
see. Wow, you've got big plans for this little igloo. I sure do. A room for each of the youngins and one for yours truly. Okay, Kobe and I can build two rooms and you and Jack can build the other two. But we better follow the plan so we build it right, right? Or we could just build like crazy. Eddie and I have a special treat for you. Look, we made a snowman. <laughs> you can make your own, but just be careful. <laughs> Move it a teeny tiny bit towards me. How's this? A teenier, weenier bit the other way. Kobe, make up your mind. Oh no! <sighs> Whoops. Hey, rabbits! Wait up, you guys! <laughs> Look, here they come! Tessa, nice and slow. Ah! How's this? I don't know. It doesn't exactly match the plans. Already? Yep. All done. Oh, dear. This wasn't my plan. But you didn't even look at the plans. All you've done is plan. You guys haven't built a thing. Have to. Have not. We have to, Jack. Now, now, you're carrying on worse than my youngins. Well, what are we going to do now? Going too fast didn't work. And going too slow didn't work either. So what we've got to do is work somewhere in between, quickly but carefully. Well, let's get a move on. It's getting dark. <laughs> well, if you can't beat them, join them. What do you say we take these baby bunnies back? You took the words right out of my... <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Yeah! Hooray! We're done. Yeah. <laughs> and just in time. Look at them, my little snow angels, all tuckered out. They're not the only ones. I hope they weren't too much trouble. Well... No, no, no trouble at all. <laughs> hey! Loretta, what have I told you about snowballs? Boys and sleeping dogs. <sighs> May we present our Emma Credible and Mia Magical Joint Creation The Sparkly Razzle Bedazzlement! Beautiful! Wow, it's very. It's very both of you! Your big, sloppy sparkles are great, Mia! And you're just so jewels are the best, Emma. They work well together. Mm. <sighs> Mia, you're all messy. And now you are too. <laughs> <laughs>
down at nine. So, how many to go? Why? Getting tired? Uh-uh. First pass, Lucky is the fastest. <laughs> yeah! It's a tie! Again. <sighs> how are we going to prove that I'm the fastest? Huh? You mean that I'm the fastest, and I'm happy to prove it. Anywhere, anytime. Rain or shine. Hmm. How about snow? Aw, oh, that's easy. But you never raced on snow. Well, it's about time we did. You're on. Yeah. We can go to Snow Globia. Okay. Yeah! yeah. Yippee! <laughs> Take it away, Ziggy. We've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. You mean snowboards. Skates. Snowboard feet. Princess Snowflake coming through on her snow saucer. Saucers are fun. And fast. Sure. Let's do it. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Mia, look out for that bush. Oh, rats. Need a hand there, Princess Snowball? It's Snowflake. And yes. Uh, uh. Please. Time for some slipping and sliding Tessa style. Make way for a steady eddy. Spinning and winning. Oh, yeah? Well, you won't see Turbo Tessa, because she's going to be a blur. Okay, let's just settle this once and for all. First one to the bottom of the hill wins. Racers, prepare to slide. Ready, set, go! Yeah! Huh? Hmm. Ooh, wait for Princess Snowflake! Yahoo! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Champion coming through! Oh, yeah! <gasps> so long! Thanks for coming! Just... Wipe out? Totally. Are you okay? I think so. Come on, not so steady, Eddie. Let's get back to the race. Whoa! Whoa. Mm. Uh. <sighs> um, I, I, I don't want to race anymore. What? Steady, Eddie, giving up already? Come on, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. If you don't race, how can I win? I... I just don't think... I just don't want to, okay? <gasps> oh, boy. He's taking that fall pretty hard. Yeah. Poor Eddie. Here comes Princess Snowflake! <laughs> oh, double rats! Can someone... Coming, Princess Snowball! <laughs> it's Snowflake! <laughs> they can keep...
keep their saucers. I'm never riding one again. Huh? Penguins can't do that. Wow. How'd you do that? I've never even seen those moves. Whoa, incredible! <laughs> oh, I don't think I can... Wait a minute. Is it magical? A magic snow saucer? So it is magic. So that's how a little penguin like you can do all those tricks. Well, if it is magic, maybe I won't fall off. Here goes. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It works! The magic works! Saucer really is magic. I can beat anyone on this. <laughs> so long, little guy, and thanks. Eddie, where are you? Hey. You're back on your snow saucer. Huh? Well, are you ready? Um, yeah, I think so. Come on. Eddie, you're back. I've been, um, practicing. Okay, let's settle this once and for all. Okay, first pass Kobe Snowman is the winner. Hey, guys, over here. On your marks, get set, snow! <laughs> Wait. <sighs> Another tie. No way! Oh. Eddie, don't you want to try again? <sighs> it wasn't a fair race. You really won, Tessa. But Kobe said it was a tie. But it wasn't a tie. Not really. My snow saucer is magic. It did the work, not me. Tessa, you're the fastest. Magic snow saucer? Yeah, a little penguin let me borrow it. A little penguin? Uh-huh. But I saw that penguin pick up your saucer right after you left. You did? So it isn't magic? And that means all the racing you did just now was... All me? All you. Maybe you just needed your confidence back. So it was a tie. And you both are the fastest. No, I am. One more race. Okay, you're on. Hey, everyone. Whoa! <laughs> Princess Snowflake, are you okay? Ugh. Hit Snowball. Just call me Snowball. <laughs> what you doing? Watching a snail. Oh, yeah? Why, hello there, young snail. I like how he kind of wriggles. Yeah, but really, really slowly. I'm a great wriggler. Hey, so am I. But I can wriggle really slowly. Yeah, but I can wriggle the slowest. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Coming to you from our own backyard stage, which was built by magical unicorns. Okay, I just made that up. 
It's the big show! Let's welcome our hosts, Eddie and Sophie! Thank you, thank, thank you. you! Let's hear it for Ziggy Wigglebottom and the Wigglebottom Band! We've all been working hard to put together a great show. Songs and jokes and Mia's fairy tale theater. But now, adventure! A trip to the jungle, always full of fun and surprises. So let's get this rocking. Ziggy, make that music. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. One more time, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an it. Tessa, we're trying to sing a song. I'm bored. Bored? But you were having such a good time helping me out with the wardrobe. Finish that. And the props. You loved Did it. Bored, 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 bored. There's nothing to do. There's lots to do, if you know where to look. Have a seat and check out this very not boring song. <sighs> Ziggy, one more time. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And we're extra so excited. So here we go. Well, I guess I don't have anything else to do. Thanks, Mia. Bye-bye. Have fun. How can anyone be bored in the jungle? Don't know. Still am. We could go on a safari and see all the amazing jungle animals. Yeah, like dinosaurs. <sighs> Boring. Well, what have we found? Uh, a sloth! A sloth? <sighs> he seems even more bored than I am. Maybe we can unbore him. Mr. Sloth, want to do something fun? <sighs> okay. I know. How about a nature hike? We can look at all the wonderful wonders of nature. Sky. Ground. Sloth. That was nice. I'm done with nature. He's still bored. Got any other ideas? Hey, I know something everyone gets excited about. In, Slothy. Okay. You'll love this. Ready, Eddie, go! Woohoo! That was awesome, right? No. Not fun. Feel better? Yes. Still bored, though. I know what you mean. Hey, when I'm bored, you know what helps? A little exercise. Exer what? One, two, three, four. Jump and then you jump some more. Five, six, seven. 
seven, eight. Doesn't that just feel so great? Yeah. <gasps> no. I'm beat. But you hardly even move. Don't you ever think about doing exciting stuff? Don't you dream about... Dream? You mean like sleep? No, dream. Like use your imagination. Imagine what now? You've never heard of imagination? No wonder you're bored. When you're feeling like there's nothing left to do And you're staring at the wall And it's staring back at you You've got the bottom blues You can cure them if you find Helping Mr. Sloth totally made me not bored. Well, I hope I helped. Hmm, the moon. He doesn't sound bored to me. The moon. Imagination is fun! It's like for me. upon a long time ago, in a very enchanted place, kind of like here, there was an evil witch. Sophie. Ooh, witchy witchiness. The mean, evil witch locked away a beautiful princess in the tall tower of total boredom, where the princess was totally bored. I was bored. But I'm not bored now. Look, I made an airplane. Hey, you're supposed to be a bored princess. Okay, but I can't be bored. This is a really fun tree house. It's supposed to be a tower. So, uh, anyway, a handsome prince came to save the princess. I am a handsome prince. Now you tell the princess to let down her long hair so you can climb up and... Not the ladder, her hair! See my airplane? Cool! This isn't boring, it's fun! <sighs> and they lived happily ever after. Witchy witchiness! With the witch! I made an airplane too! Yay! Not bored in the treehouse with the ladder. The end. Witchy witchiness. What a show! We went to the jungle. We met a sloth. I tried to tell a fairy tale, and you did. Wasn't it so fun to make up a new ending? I guess so. It wasn't boring, that's for sure. Totally not boring. Remember. When you're feeling like there's nothing left to do And you're staring at the wall And staring back at you You ain't got the bored and blues But you can cure them if you find The magic in your mind The, the magic, magic called imagination Oh. Little 
Belleville. What a pretty town. I think I'll go for a visit. Welcome to your new neighborhood, Lucky. You're gonna love Littleville. It's the best place to live. <sighs> or take a nap. Good day, Sophie. Good day to you, Mia. Taking Mr. Papa for a stroll, I see. Yes, and he's been very well behaved. Hello, ladies of Littleville. What are you doing on this fine day, Eddie? I was just about to make a mud pie. Did someone say pie? Mmm, I love pie. See, Lucky, Littleville's the nicest, friendliest little town in the entire world. Beep, beep. I'm just coming home after a hard day at work. Hessa, follow the directions. The road goes around Littleville, not through it. No problem. I'm driving Tessa style. <laughs> Look out! Woohoo! <laughs> uh oh. Woohoo! <laughs> Tessa, watch out! Beep beep! Ah! <sighs> that was so cool! Broke Littleville. I'm sorry. I'll fix it. We'll all help. But first, let's play obstacle course. We can run around here, and then we can jump over this. That looks like fun. Let's find a real obstacle course. Where are we going to do that? What about the jungle? It has lots of stuff to jump over and crawl through. Yes, a jungle obstacle course. We'll have a race. And I'll win. Let's go! We'll fix Littleville later. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we bought an adventure. And we're extra so excited. So here we go. Wait up, guys! Welcome to the official Jungle Obstacle Course. You've all chosen your teammates? Hmm? Yay! We've got our team! All right! <laughs> oh, teammate! Great idea! Got any dinosaurs? Let me check. No. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm Emmett, and I'm winning today. Whoa. Hey, Emmett. I'm Eddie, and I'm ready to win. Want to be my teammate? Deal. Yes! <clears throat> Attention, racers. Oh, yeah. All eyes here. Listen carefully. Everyone has to follow the arrows. Give me five. All right. Follow the arrows. We're so gonna win this. Oh, yeah. Follow the... Hey, Eddie. Arrows. That's not fair. We got a head start. Let the official jungle obstacle course race begin. Yeah! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Yippee! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, okay. Which way? Which way? That way. No, I say this way. Here we go. 
gonna win this. Time, follow me. No, follow me. I said, follow me. <sighs> this is fun. Come on, guys, this way. Here's a red arrow. They're going to win. We need a shortcut. That way, through the log. <laughs> Eddie, I'm stuck. <laughs> Get me out of here! <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Whoa! Do that again! And put more elephant into it! Win? No, no, no. That's the finish line over there. And this is the starting line. You mean we're right back where we started? Precisely. Maybe next time you'll follow the arrows. Hmm? Huh? Come on, Emmett. Let's start over and try again. And this time, follow the arrows. Yeah, if we'd followed the arrows the first time, we would have won for sure. True, true, so very true. And for that reason, I present you both an award for most improved team. Congratulations. Everyone, just follow my directions. Eddie, you put your box over there. Mia, that box goes on top of Kobe's. Tessa, now put your box on top. Just a little that way. That's perfect. Our little bill house looks even better than before. Hey. I bet it'll look even better if we knock it down one more time and build it all over again. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Who turned out the light? 
<laughs> hey, everybody! Welcome to the first ever Backyard Egg Extravaganza! Team 1, Eddie and Mia! Yes! Team 2, Tessa and Kobe! Okay, you know the rules. Partners pass the egg to each other, and the first team to get its egg over the finish line without breaking it wins! Let's go, Sophie! This egg wants to get rolling! Eggs ready, eggs set, eggs go! Go, Tessa! Come on, Eddie! Oh, yeah! Yippee! Yeah! <laughs> Eddie slides into the lead. But Tessa and Kobe are gaining on them! Come on, toss it! Toss it! Tessa's ahead by nose. This is so exciting! <laughs> Go, Tessa! Come on, Eddie! You can do it! <laughs> and it's exactly a tie! A tie? Aw, oh, come on! What good's a race without a winner? Rematch! But with race cars! <laughs> race cars! Yes! We can race on a big track! I'm in! Let's go! Yeah! I can't wait to race! Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure! And you can come along! A special kind of adventure! But first we sing this song! We sing this song! to the really rather royal road race. Ripping, rousing, absolutely riveting. Dad. Sorry, son. Continue. The race will begin here and finish there at Pigalot Palace. Where the victory celebration will be held in a royally dignified manner. Polite cheering will be permitted. Like this. Ra, ra, ra. There's the starting flag! Woohoo! Dad! You said I could start the race! Steady Eddie gets a head start and leaves him in the dust! Go, Eddie! The kid's a born winner! You said it! Wait, who said it? Eyes on the road, Ace! You want to win this thing, right? I love winning! And you do anything to win? Anything. Oh. Are you sure, Ace? A oh. zillion percent! Okay, leave it to me. Think of me as your good luck job. Quick, take this dirt road here. Uh. Okay. <laughs> oh no! I'm stuck in the mud! <laughs> Eddie rounds the curve like a pro! No one can catch up to him!
Lola charm. What are you doing? Helping you win, Sam. Nobody can drive on banana peels. But that's not very fair. No, but now you're way out in front. I guess I am. I stopped all the other racers, too. All of them? Yep. But isn't that really unfair? Who cares about fair? You're going to win. But that's... And winning is the best, right? Well, I do love winning. It's great. Better than great. But what about my friends? Hey, you said that you'd do anything, right? Winning is the best. But cheating is the worst. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? The right thing. Oh, oh. Hey, Sophie, look out! Bananas! Thanks, Eddie. Hey, wait, you look like a winner. I could be your good luck charm. Oh. I'll help you, Kobe. Mm. Here, Mia. Got it. Thanks. Mm. There you go, Tessa. Thanks. I, King Pigalot, pronounce you Sophie. The winner of the really rather royal road race. Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Yay! Hooray for Sophie! Aw, thank you. But I couldn't have won without Eddie's help. He helped me too. And me. That makes four of us. And because Eddie helped all of us, I think he is the real winner. Here you go, Eddie. Hooray! Yay! Congratulations, Eddie! Bravo! It's time for me. That's me! This is the story of the tortoise in the hare, which is like a big bunny rabbit, but different. The role of the tortoise would be played by a really slow zebra because we don't have a tortoise. <sighs> so one day, the really slow zebra and the hairy bunny rabbit had a race. The bunny was so sure she was going to win that she stopped to play in the sandbox. But the zebra just kept moving along, slow and steady. So... You know, Bunny, if you get all sandy, it might slow you down. No, you're supposed to pass her, not help her. Gee, thanks, really slow zebra. Boing, boing, boing. <sighs> But then the bunny saw some swings. She was so far ahead of the really slow zebra, she decided to stop and play. So the slow and steady zebra... Need a push? Thanks! No! You know, bunny, we're having so much fun, why don't we cross the finish line together too? Great idea! No, it's not supposed to happen that way. The really slow zebra is supposed to win. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Look, it's a tie! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> so, the zebra and the bunny became best friends. And that's definitely not the story of the tortoise and the hare. You should tell us that one sometime. <sighs> The end. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We may be little, but our show is big. Play that music, it's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together.